Hey Magic Hero, Jay here. I got a call from Nobby and he said he wanted to show us something so we came all the way back to the Netherlands to see what he had to show us. So let's go inside and say hi. Hey Nobby, how's it going? Hi Jay. I'm good, how are you? Good, good to see you again. Good to see you too. Okay, this has got to be what you're here to show us, right? Yeah, it's a universal measuring microscope, as they call it at Zeiss. Okay. And it's from the 1930s. 1930s, somewhere in the 30s. Okay, all right, so my first question is, how did you get this thing? Well, actually, I visited a customer, yeah. which is the University of Ghent in Belgium. It's a technical university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I got a tour around the facility. It mm -hmm. was wonderful to see. And at one room they said, have you ever been in a time machine? That's Belgian humor. <laughs> yeah. There. yeah, I really like it. And I said, no, uh, not, of course not. Well, please enter, they said. And then there was this black beast I haven't <laughs> seen before. And they said, well, this is our main measuring unit. Um, I said, well, that's awesome. If you ever get rid of it, please give me a call. <laughs> Seven years later, I got a call from the university, which wow. happens often. But they yeah. said, uh, are you still interested in this uh, microscope? Okay. I said, I'll be there by tomorrow. <laughs> That's crazy. And was it all complete in this yeah. good shape? I've got some accessories as well, but it's the main unit, mm -hmm. which weighs 400, 500 kilograms, which wow. is a, a thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Almost uh, about that, and it has its original table. Wow! Look at these bolts. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and <laughs> it's and the, the table is uh, oak. Can you wow. imagine that wow. Zeiss sells uh, <laughs> CMM <Old> furniture? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. do you want the the vast XT or the XXT? <laughs> uh, do you want the oak table or not? <laughs> but it was uh, well yeah. normal back then, I guess. Oh, wow! So this is the. Um, power unit mm -hmm. and there are three lights, lights from uh, uh, the underside okay. to uh, lighten the, the, the part and this is a microscope so uh, this is obviously from the measuring department. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I believe you celebrated a hundred years of, uh, yeah, yeah. of the industrial just, quality just recent, department. Yeah. Uh, so that was 1919 um, and as a microscope uh, developer uh, this is, well, uh, a measuring machine with yeah. a microscope on it. So you can look at your part. So uh, this is a demo part, a mm -hmm. um, ring gauge. Yeah, yeah. And to measure it, uh, it's an X uh, slide and an uh, Y slide. So it's um, yeah, a 2D measuring machine. Measuring machine. Now, does this still work? Yes, it does. And to take the measurements, uh -huh. there are some scales over here. And again, there are two microscopes, so the X and the Y microscope, and you look at the scales, and you can take measurements on a thousandth of a millimeter, and even divisions of the microns. Wow! I think really? It's, yeah, I think it's insane. I, uh, is it, could you could you measure that ring gauge for yeah, us? Sure. I, I'd be fascinated to see how long it takes to measure that. Well, that's a different story. Okay, it takes for ages, but I can certainly measure a part. Oh man, it would be fun to just watch watch you. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you measure a lot of parts, but man, it would be fascinating to see it. Could, yeah. Can we give it a try? We can. I'll power it up. It's so crazy that it still works. Oof. Yeah. Let's take the um, uh, diameter uh, from nine o'clock to the three o'clock okay. position in the bore. Uh, but to do so, I have to measure uh, the middle of the 12 o'clock to the 6 o'clock position first. Okay, okay. So I'm measuring in the Y. Um, what I really love about it is that it has a uh, slide in the Y direction and it has um, uh, the guideway for the X direction. And here are some precision ground profiles uh, that are even hard to make today. Yeah. It's, I don't know, I don't know how to make it and it's uh, a meter long almost. It's it's fantastic. And the um, design, if you have a normal CMM bridge mm -hmm. type, you have the Y axis, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm in front of it, and the X axis travels along mm -hmm. with the Y axis. And the Z axis 
travels along with the X mm -hmm. and the Y. So there are stacked axes. <laughs> but in this design, the X is separate yep. and the Y is separate. Wow. So the errors from the first axis won't influence the Don't next. Compound. So the, the newer CMM design is maybe not optimal, <laughs> but today you can compensate for yeah. it yeah. with yeah. software. And, yeah. Well, that wasn't an option today, right. but, be, but actually the, the current OINSPECT 543 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. has the same um, separate guideway design. Ah, yeah, yeah. And, What's and, old is new. Yeah, <laughs> and it's sort of a um, mother of uh, yeah. of all O inspect. Oh, that's crazy. So let's yeah. take the measurement. Okay, okay. I'll search for the six o'clock position. I need a hand actually. Okay. Can you write down some measurements? Yeah, let's do it. So I'll have to focus. So, and the guides are all uh, scraped, mm -hmm. which is, uh, well, lovely to see and it's very accurate. So now I'm in focus. I'm at a 12 o'clock position actually. Uh, so there's a crosshair in my eyesight. So now we're at the 12 o'clock position. I have to take the reading on the y-axis. Uh, so I have to look at the y-axis. Let's see. So you can start writing down 39.285, okay? So now I'll be moving to the six o'clock position. So I'll take the reading in the y-axis now. And it's 59 point, let me see. We're going from 12 to six o'clock and then to the center line. Yep. Okay. Add them and then divide by two. Yeah. Okay, got it. 49, three, three, eight. So my reading or my measurement is that the ring gauge is three microns over. Wow. Uh, so now is the yeah. discussion. It's not calibrated. So yeah. is, it, is, it, is it the machine or is it the ring gauge? Or maybe it's the operator. But that's what it is. But it, you know, it's a, a, a it's twenty millimeter ring gauge, and we yeah. we've definitely read something that is absolutely feasible. And uh, this is just a, a simple two-point distance yeah. measurement. Yeah. Can you imagine measuring real oh. problems? Yeah. And yeah. it was designed. I have some accessories that you can clamp a uh, shaft um, with uh, threads. Yeah. And then you. This is the first machine who could measure all the parameters parameters of the of the thread. So uh, largest diameter, smallest. Yeah. Also the pitch, but also the right uh, angle of the threads. Yeah. And for that, you can tilt the head, <laughs> and you would see just along yeah. wow. the, the thread angle. Wow. It's amazing. They thought of everything. Yeah. It's something that the modern machines just can't do. Can't do it. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, Nabi, that was uh, fantastic. Thank you for not only showing us this machine, but showing us how what it actually took to uh, to measure something. Yeah, no problem. It's great fun. Yeah, it was uh, it was crazy. You you actually were your own reader head. Yeah, which <laughs> yeah, that's correct. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Uh, of course, I mean on, on a modern size CMM, something like this, once it's clamped and fixtured, and there's already a, a measurement plan that might only take thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah so probably. Yeah. I mean, but that's what it took to measure something yep. you know, in the 30s. Those were different times and uh, yeah. the head measurement, uh, the head of the control lab would have yeah. a, <laughs> a three-piece suit yeah. and a tie, you know? Yeah, yeah. Outstanding. Well, Nabi, uh, thanks for calling. I look forward to your next call, whatever it is you're gonna show us next. Yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> All right, my friend, thank you. Bye-bye. 
And for you out there, hope you enjoyed our little look at this piece of living history. Don't forget to stay safe and stay healthy. We'll see you next time.